Hello everyone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again to my lecture video Okay, today we are going To learn a new topic Which is centroid uh, Okay, so what is centroid? So centroid is the Geometric center Of an object Area, uh, a line, a curve uh, Okay, so that is Centroid, okay, for example Okay Let's say we have a circle, okay, circle, huh? okay, this circle. So where is the location of the centroid for this circle? Uh, of course, lah, like, geometric center. So it means that it is, okay, uh, in the middle of this circle here. Okay, what about a rectangle, for example? Okay, rectangle. Okay, where is the geometric center, centroid of this? Rectangle here Also in the middle Okay So in the middle part ah. Okay this one Okay What about a triangle Okay let's draw a triangle ah. Okay we have a triangle Okay this one Where is the centroid of this triangle <laughs> Okay Circle easy Center uh, rectangle or a square also easy Center But for a triangle How to determine the centroid of a triangle uh, Okay, so in this topic So in this chapter We are going to learn on how to determine the location of a centroid Okay, for this type of uh, a shape Okay And also We are going to determine also When we have a multiple A complex shape Okay that includes multiple common shape like circle, uh, triangle, and everything. Okay. For example, let's say we have uh, this one. Uh, okay. We have a rectangle combined with a triangle at the top here. Okay. Rectangle, triangle. Okay. This one. Okay. How to determine the centroid of this area here? Okay. That has a rectangle and also a triangle. Uh, Okay, we will learn on how to uh, locate the centroid for this area. Okay, so for this uh, centroid here, we have this common equation. Okay, so these three are the common equation that we can use to uh, calculate the location of centroid x, uh, centroid x uh, direction, centroid y, and also centroid z. Okay, if it is 3D, so we have until z. Okay, and we also have another equation to calculate the centroid. Mm, okay, so these are. The another three equations that we can use to locate centroid. Uh, so what is the difference between this one and also this one? Okay, for this part here, okay, usually we will use this part, okay, this one here, okay, to calculate the location of uh, the centroid for a common shape like this one, okay, like a circle. Like this triangle, uh, rectangle and also for this triangle. Okay. And for this, this one here. Okay. For this equation here. This one here. Usually we will use this equation to locate the centroid of an area where we have a multiple common shapes in it. Uh, like this one. Okay. Rectangle and also a triangle okay if you can see this one here as i mentioned earlier we have uh, two shapes which is okay shape number one rectangle shape number two is a triangle okay so to calculate this one here okay this one here what we can do is that okay so this one here will be Total of X A So X here, X here Represents the centroid Of this common shape here Okay This For example uh, This rectangle So this one will be 
the centroid x for this rectangle multiply with area of this rectangle plus with the centroid x for the triangle multiply with area of the triangle over the total area which is a1 plus a2 okay and also same with y okay y also is y1 a1 plus y2 a2 over a1 plus a2 okay so this is how we can calculate the location of centroid when we have a multiple common shapes in an area okay for this one here i will uh, explain you later in the next video okay on how to uh, calculate this one okay let's look at this one first okay how to determine the location of a centroid using this integration okay let's say we want to determine this one the triangle here okay let's look at this one okay so this is a triangle okay on the y and also x axis so this triangle has a base b and a height h here okay and this line here this is the line that can create this triangle here which is y equals to h over b multiply with b minus x okay so let's say we want to determine the location of centroid y here okay y bar here so how we can do it is by integrate of y da over integration of da this one okay so da here is x dy okay da is equals to x dy so what is x what is x uh, okay so we have y here is equals to h over b b minus x so from here this one here okay if we rearrange back okay this one here so we can get okay y multiply with b over h equals to b minus x so therefore x here is equals to b minus y b over h okay and x is equals to if we take out b over h to the outside here so we can get b over h h minus y okay so this is x okay then as i mentioned earlier x dy here so we just insert this x to this equation here then we can get this one okay and we want to integrate from 0 to h from here to here then if we calculate we will get the answer h over 3 mm. okay so means that regardless the value of h here okay if it is the value of h for example is 3 so means that the location of uh, centroid y here is 3 over 3 equals to 1 so 1 means that from this one ah, the x exists up until here is one okay what about the location of centroid x uh, for this triangle here so if we try to calculate actually the location of centroid x here okay this one here is equals to b over 3 okay so this is b over 3 so if we draw on this triangle here So this is our centroid location. Okay, x. Okay. This one. Okay. So what about the other common shape like triangle? Ah, sorry, like a circle, like a rectangle. Okay. So actually we have an appendix for that. Okay, let me show you the appendix. Okay, so these are the other uh, centroid for the other common shape like this rectangle here so rectangle here as mentioned here b over 2 so b here is the base huh? b and this is h huh? okay so b over 2 means that in the middle lah. okay h over 2 is in the middle also so this one so this is the location of the centroid okay and for the right triangle as mentioned here is 
uh, centroid X is B over 3 centroid Y is H over 3 so means that the location of a centroid is here okay this one so this one will be B over 3 and this one the height will be H over 3 <coughs> okay and for this uh, kind of triangle also we have B over 2 H over 3 so it's around this part uh, okay so this one will be H over 3 from here to here and B over 3 is from here to here okay B over 2 sorry B over 2 so the circle here is R so R is what uh, actually in the middle lah because the R represent radius so R here and also this is also R okay and for the semicircle here the location of centroid X is R of course lah okay R here and then centroid Y is 4R over 3 pi so if we draw on this semicircle here so this one will be 4R over 3 pi this one okay and R here is from here to here lah. Okay, this one is R. Okay, and for a quarter circle is central X 4R over 3 pi, central Y also 4R over 3 pi. So, we have from here to here 4R over 3 pi, this one also 4R over 3 pi. Hmm. Okay, so this is the location of the centroid for each common shape. And please, don't get confused. Huh? When we talk about this centroid X and also centroid Y here, when we want to insert into the calculation here, make sure you write down the coordinate. Not you just input this value. No, cannot. Okay, you must refer back to the image, okay, to the area that we want to calculate. So make sure that we choose or we write down the correct coordinate for the centroid mm, okay so uh, what is what, what is the meaning of what I'm talking about okay I will explain to you later in the next video okay so please check my next video here to know how to use this table to calculate the centroid for uh, for an area that has a multiple common shapes in it Okay, so see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.